This is a card that could grant you US citizenship. This is a car plated in a metal worth over $75,000 a kilogram. And this is a steak dusted with a luxury so pure you can eat it. For over 6,000 years, gold hasn't just been a metal, it has been power condensed into a solid form. But to get this, humanity must go here. This stark contrast raises a fundamental question from the dark depths of the earth to the dazzling heights of luxury. What is the true cost of gold? This is Uganda, a land known as the heart of Africa's gold country. But here, under the burning sun, gold isn't a luxury, it's a lifeline. For communities living on less than $2 a day, mining isn't a choice. It's the only way to survive. Even children too young to read learn to wield a pickaxe. The process begins not with advanced geology, but with experience and a handheld metal detector. When it beeps, they dig. Every hole is a gamble. They descend dozens of meters into the earth through tunnels barely wide enough for one person with only a flickering headlamp to break the darkness. They are searching for particles, tiny fragments dispersed in soil and rock. Each sack hoisted to the surface is a bet against fate. To get the gold out, these rocks are pulverized by a crushing machine. But the most crucial and dangerous step comes next. Mercury. Mercury is toxic. It's known to cause cancer, nerve damage, and countless diseases. But it's the only thing available that can bind with the tiny gold particles, forming an amalgam. This lump is then heated, burning the toxic mercury away into the air they breathe, leaving the raw gold behind. To get just 9 ounces of gold, worth around $20,000 on the open market, they must process nearly 19 tons of rock. For this back-breaking, life-threatening work, these miners will earn just a few dollars a day. This is the human price of gold. But to meet the world's insatiable demand, this method is simply not enough. Thousands of miles away, in the vast deserts of Nevada, the search for gold looks very different. This isn't about survival, it's about scale. Here the process starts with a force of nature. Dozens of holes are drilled deep into the earth and filled with explosives. A single blast shatters an entire mountain face, exposing the ore within. Giant excavators, each one the size of a small house, scoop up tons of rock, loading it onto automated conveyor belts that stretch for miles. This is gold mining as a modern industrial machine. Even though this ore contains just 0.05% gold, sometimes just a single gram per ton, modern technology can extract it with brutal efficiency. But whether it comes from a hand-dug tunnel in Uganda or a massive blast in Nevada, the next step is the same, purification. 
The rock is sent into a giant ball mill, where massive steel balls pulverize it into a fine powder. This powder is mixed with water to form a slurry, which then flows into huge tanks. But instead of toxic mercury, the industrial process uses a different, highly controlled chemical. Cyanide The cyanide solution dissolves the gold, separating it from the rock. Then, in an electrolysis tank, an electrical current is applied. Pure gold atoms are drawn out of the solution, clinging to the electrodes. This purified gold is then melted at over 1,200 degrees Celsius in a furnace. The remaining impurities burn away, leaving behind a liquid so pure it shines. It's poured into molds, cooled and stamped. The final product, a standard gold bar, ready for the vault. From these high security vaults, the journey continues. In factories, these bars are reheated, rolled into sheets and drawn into fine wires. Automated machines weave these wires into chains, while artisans craft them into rings and bracelets. Each piece is polished and inspected, transforming the raw element from the earth into a symbol of love, status and wealth. So, we've followed gold from the dark, dangerous mines of Uganda to the explosive, industrial scale of Nevada through high-tech refineries and into the hands of master jewelers. We've seen it transformed from a microscopic particle trapped in ancient rock into this. It proves that gold has always been a paradox its value is forged not just by its rarity, but by human sacrifice and incredible ingenuity. It represents the peak of luxury, yet its story often begins with the struggle for survival. So the next time you see it shine, you'll know the true, complex and fascinating journey it took. What does gold represent to you? Power, beauty or something else entirely? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And to explore more stories behind the world's most fascinating materials, make sure to subscribe.